Welcome back. As we come to the end of a Monday show here, it's time to make our lunch and give you an idea for dinner with another Meatless Monday segment. That's right. You know it. With the chill in the air lately, seeing temps dipping below 75 in the mornings, brr. It's almost <laughs> time for fall, which means it's almost time for pumpkins and then Thanksgiving and Halloween on the 31st, which means sweet potatoes. Okay, that's a bit of a reach, but today's dish is Mediterranean baked sweet potatoes. I love it. It's so good. It's so good. It's a couple things that you might not combine, but this one is from a website we use often called Minimalist Baker. And the reason I, uh, Jazz and I love that one is because Minimalist Baker usually all of their stuff has 10 ingredients or less and takes 30 minutes to make. So that's, that's why I love it. That's definitely up my alley. I, right. I, yeah, that's all for me right there. This one okay. is also another one that is great for uh, meal prepping because you can make a bunch of these and you can like put them each in little Tupperwares. And so here's what you need. There's a few different things to make here. We have a garlic sauce, but first the roasting. The roasting ingredients, you need four medium sweet potatoes. Okay. Uh, what you should be doing over here is you're dicing, small dicing these tomatoes and Got parsley. It. We'll get to that in a sec. Okay. But 15 ounce can of uh, chickpeas, rinse and drain those. Half teaspoon each of all these spices, cumin, coriander, cinnamon, smoked paprika, half tablespoon of olive oil, pinch of salt, a dash of lemon juice. Put all that on top of the uh, uh, one tray. You're going to take the potatoes, put those on there, and then you're going to roast those at 400 degrees. We'll get to that in a sec. But here's for the, uh, the garlic sauce. Garlic sauce, half cup, uh, a quarter cup of hummus, uh, half medium lemon juiced, which basically comes out to like a tablespoon or two, uh, three quarters teaspoon dried dill, or two to three teaspoons of fresh dill if you got that, three cloves of garlic minced, water or unsweetened almond milk to kind of thin out the sauce, depending on how runny you want it. And sea salt to taste is optional. Now, here's the prep instructions. All right. You got all those you know, sweet potatoes, you cut those things in half, and I'm gonna pull them over here. You cut the sweet potatoes in half because it, they cook quicker. You asked why they weren't full sweet potatoes. Well, because it takes long to cut them or to cook them if you do them whole. Uh, put the oil on them, have them, throw them on the tray, toss the chickpeas and all the spices together with oil, throw them on the same tray, bake for 25 to 30 minutes, then make the garlic herb sauce. Really simple go. here. Here's the garlic herb sauce. All comes in this deliciousness right here. Once you get done with that, we're going to uh, basically put all the garlic herb spices together, mix those together with a whisk. And then you're ready to go with the garlic herb sauce. Got it. Now, here's how the, the baking sheet comes out. This is all done. Let's take, uh, we'll take this one right here. It smells like fall in here. Right? This is exactly what, what I imagine fall smells like. So you're probably smelling a little bit of the cinnamon. Yes. You can pull the skin off if you want, but this actually creates like a nice little boat. Um, so you want to take the, the sweet potato here. As she's dicing, the tomatoes and the parsley and lemon juice is kind of a garnish. And you just want to uh, mash down the middle. Okay. And make like kind of like a little little canoe, hollow it out a little bit, keep all this, the filling in there. You don't want to take the filling out. Right. And then you take the chickpeas like this, fill the chickpeas in the middle. And so all these different spices are gonna are gonna add a whole bunch of different flavors to this. Put those there in the, in the little boat like that. Yep. And then as you're dicing and mincing or dicing up all that tomato stuff, put those in here. Got a little lemon juice again. Very nice. All right. Throw these in here, okay. throw the parsley in there, and mix all that around. And then what I'll do is put a little bit of this over top. Oh, that smells good. Yeah, so this is... It's a little little boat. Yeah, a little, a little hummus, a little garlic, go. a little dill. Put all that on there. All right. We and need a little more tomato, I feel like. Yeah? Yeah, you never right. have too much tomato. And so, you, again, as you can see, you can make a bunch of these, and you can put this one, you know, in a Tupperware, and this one in a Tupperware, and you can keep them all separated. So there we go. Take this in here. Shake it up. Shake it up. Parsley, tomato, lemon, garnish. And since I got gloves, I'll just do this. There you go. And we're going to plate this like so. Ooh. Boom. Put some tomatoes on there. You're right. More tomatoes. Oh, look, it needs more tomatoes. Yeah. There you go. There's your lunch, Hattie. That's my lunch. I'm excited. Super easy. So delicious. You're going to love it. Yeah. As we get ready for fall and Halloween on the 31st. So make sure we'll you see. share this with your friends. We'll see. <laughs> Just go to our website, firstcoastliving.net, to have it. Take a bite. Okay. Here we go. Pick it up like a taco. There you go.